everybody, welcome to today's stream. Be doing a bit of shiny hunting tonight uh, for the uh, charity event going on. Haven't been able to do a whole lot of that so far in the last week, unfortunately, so we're gonna try and make up for some lost time on that. Had some slight technical difficulties trying to get set up with my uh, green screen. Uh, last time I went to use it and moved it around, the bracket that holds it up uh, snapped off completely. Uh, right here. Bent out of shape entirely and snapped off. I had to figure out a way to get my green screen to stay upright. And, um... Yeah... Currently, the only thing holding it up is, uh... Yeah, it is currently being held up by duct tape and dreams, so if that suddenly uh, collapses on me midstream, no why. good enough spot to avoid that. Petrus. A catching crew. My false swiper, my yawn, and Nuzzle, which is probably not great when it's hitting at level 96, but just in case. Picnic. As you can see immediately above me, we've got a couple of targets. That remains to be seen, Layman. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Uh, my current list of targets is above my head. Uh, King Gambit so far has uh, eluded the hell out of me. I think I've done like three separate uh, sandwiches for this thing. And I just cannot get it to spawn in. a new spot to see if that changes things up a little bit, but we'll find out very quickly, I'm sure. That's a big it. That's a big scissor.
We're at the point where I didn't even question what the shiny sandwich was for steel type. Because I've done it so many times in this spot. Like, yep, free hamburger. Yep. That's the sandwich. All right, everybody, get eaten. I said it at the beginning of the stream. I don't know if you heard it, Layman. Uh... Today, my green screen is being held up by duct tape and dreams, so... If it suddenly comes crashing down or you hear a loud creaking, you know. couple of shiny wingles kicking around so I, I didn't find myself caring so much about the one that potentially gets you in trouble with uh potentially gets you in trouble with uh Pokemon at official events. you heard about that. Apparently, the, uh, uh, the shiny Pelipper that they had, that they gave out in that download code, apparently gets, apparently trips, uh, the hacked Pokemon check at events. Something to do with the uh, trainer name and the trainer number not matching properly. I'm just like, nah, I've got a couple of these that I'm not going to get in trouble for, so I'll just do that. <laughs> not that I use rain very often. It's supposed to be, but apparently it didn't quite work out like that. Apparently you can fix it by uh, putting it into Pokemon Home and bringing it back into the game. But apparently that messes up the title. God, is that blue? That's yeah, blue.
Got a shiny poniard. All right, we're doing good here. This early into the sandwich. I love that that was a lot of effect for basically nothing. Oh, uh, God, what balls do I want to throw at this thing? I feel like Great Ball matches the color better. There's no red to base it off of. Um, I have not thought this through. Dive Ball! Dive Ball King Gamut seems like a funny idea. Matches the color aesthetic better. Oh, Quick Ball, though. Quick Ball's got all the matching colors. If I was gonna do that, I should have done it by now. Moon Ball Ponyard. Ooh. See if I can get it. Is that a crit capture? Sure was. <laughs> Moon Ball Ponyard. Shiny Bonyard. Let's go. <laughs> hey, bud. Sorry, we're going to the picnic. Respawning all y'all, because I've still got... Plenty of time left in this sandwich. I'm gonna try that again. My mic a little crackly? I might need to reset it. Usually if it's crackly, that means it's starting to go out of sync with the camera. Set that quickly. Hope that fixes it. Yep. Yeah, it's out of sync, yeah. That better? Felt like that froze for a second, so I don't know if it's fixed itself or not. It's better? Okay, good. Yeah, usually if the microphone on this setup uh, starts going out of sync, it usually uh, starts getting crackly too, so that's a good sign. Okay. Moment. I definitely, definitely just needed to change locales. I moved my spot to a different uh, location, and suddenly I've got a shiny already, so I right, that was obviously the problem.
gotta take a really close look with some of these, just because of how far the poniards spawn. It sometimes just gets to be so difficult just to be able to see whether or not there's blue or red. 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 I can't see you very well. You're red. Okay. A little hidey hole corner. As much as this is red pop stream and not blue pop stream, I am looking for the blue one. So. Also, I know I know it said so in the stream title, but I feel like I need to reiterate. I am doing taking part in a charity thing this weekend, this week for uh, Trans Awareness Week. Anyone is interested in uh, any of the redeems for that? Type exclamation mark charity in the chat, and it'll bring up a link to the whole campaign. My major offering, as per usual, is that for $5, I will hunt you any one shiny of your choosing. Pick a shiny, and as long as it's not a legendary or mythical, and it's available to catch as a shiny in one of the games I actually own, I will hunt it for you and trade it to you. much you choose to make me suffer as a result of that is entirely up to you. Shiny Slowpoke Farm? I mean... Wouldn't be the first time. I've done that for Lane at least once. Not in this... Did I do that in this game for him? I feel like I did that for him in Sword and Shield. I may have gotten him a shiny regular Slowpoke here. Scarlet and Violet previous. There's the last one. I knew I was missing one. Oh, 
Oh, God, shiny. Oh, 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 oh. That one's, that one would be pain. That one would quite literally be pain. Just have to keep catching shiny. Like, either I gotta farm specifically for uh, the multi segment to Dunsparces, or I just farm shiny Dunsparce and keep evolving it and praying. Red, 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 red. was the what was the super pain in the ass one that I remember somebody like suggesting at least once I think it was I think the, the suggestion that really made me cringe for a bit was back in sword and shield when somebody suggested I farm them a uh, shiny Alolan Marowak And the only good way for me to do that at the time was to, uh... Oh, you do know how to make it worse? Oh, God. Yeah, the only way to get the shiny Alolan Marowak at the time... Because I don't think home had been connected yet, so I couldn't do it. Go back to Sun and Moon and do it there would have been to uh, find the girl who trades you uh, something for an Alolan uh, Marowak and just keep spamming that trade and resetting until I get a shiny out of it, which was pain just to think about. But what's your, uh, what's your uh, four segment with the legend ribbon? Oh, I see. Well, it's a it's a good thing. I'm I my thing is collecting shinies and I have specified nothing about ribbons. That is not even an option on my list. Shiny hunt? I do not necessarily ribbon hunt. It'd have to be red with the Dunsparce and hope it shine. God! The heck would I even do that? Dunsparce wasn't in Gen 1. <laughs> what do you mean I'd have to beat red? Oh, like, beat, you mean beat red at the mountain at the end of the Gen 2 games, I guess. Yeah, so actually, like, beat him at the end of uh, Gold and Silver. Okay. That's not as bad. And heart gold, soul silver specifically. Now that that argument would also fall foul of my must be in a game that I own <laughs> requirement because I don't have that. One minute. 
Snips a sandwich. Okay. Picnic. Not map. Picnic. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Bisharp and Ponyard. Be nice about it this time. You've made me waste three sandwiches uh, just to get you at this point. Just to get one. Mo least you can do is drop multiple shinies in this one sandwich. shinies for me are the ones for Pokemon I actually use in BGC. Because I play Trick Room, I usually need zero speed IV. So trying to like get a shiny Pokemon that also has zero speed IV is, without... I mean, sandwich hunting makes it would make it uh, easier to find the shiny, but I... In that scenario, breeding is a lot more consistent. And just mouse in a method is a lot more consistent for getting the specific IVs on things. This is why one of my potential targets for this week was Oranguru for shiny hunting, but uh... I just sat there for a few minutes, like, do I really want to zero speed farm a shiny Oranguru? I don't know if I have the patience for it. Shiny. Yep, sure do. Double shiny. Only fair. You did you did make me wait through three separate sandwiches to get you. Let's try for the moon ball again. Trick capture again! Alright, we got five minutes left in this sandwich. Can we go for number three? That is a shiny King Bishar. I I was joking, but I'll take it.
Hiya there, bud. Got two in a moon ball. Let's go for number three, I guess. Not a crit cap that time. And it broke out immediately. Alright, well. Eh, we got two out of three. Uh, that, that's not bad. Uh, what else do I want to try? Do I just want to try and whip a beast ball at this thing just because? Yeah. Chances are low, but let's do it. Yeah. Oh well. We get full animation off that that time. It's cool. Alright, well, dive ball. Let's go for a Luxury Ball instead. Black and gold is probably still good. He does not want to let me. He will. immediately go for the yawn on this because I'm not worried about the poison point because he's a steel type using iron defense anyway so whatever got crit capped in one shot. This, this fish sharp is uh, not wanting to go in the ball. I mean, now that he's at 1 HP and asleep, yeah, that's crit capture that time. Picnic, just in case. I'm gonna use this sandwich to the best of my ability. Till it actually runs out. Not gonna stop trying.
other things are spawning, so I'm assuming that means the timer's up. Yep, sure is. But we managed to get three of them off of that sandwich. Ponyard, shiny ponyard, and a shiny fish heart. Alrighty, let's see, did we... What was the thing with that? Uh... Oh, dear. the peckish. Have one. Alrighty, well, this, this will be the one that I give over to Overkill. I will hold on to the other two for now, because one's got a title and one may be half decent for my use if I want to. these two in here with the rest. Okay, so that is King Gambit dealt with. King Gambit has been dealt with. It means we have the Chunk would be our next target. So I am going to go ahead and add some of my other actual event targets to the list now, which is Flamigo and... Who's my other blue target? Like... Kind of embarrassed, I don't remember what my last target for this whole thing was. Oh, oh right, it was Intellion. Okay. All of my uh, event targets are now actually set up on the shiny queue because I knew I had one too many to actually fit the box. But yeah, my uh, targets going on here are Lechonk, Toad's Cruel, Dondozo, Flamigo, and Inteleon. That were my actual event targets. It just so happened that uh, King Gambit fit well into the color scheme I was looking for, and I already owed one to Overkill. So, worked out for me on that end.
Yes, I am just taking screenshots of all these guys. Okay, so I guess my next question is, I know my next target's LeChonk, but where specifically in this game, I mean, aside from one of the starting zones, but that doesn't feel like it's the greatest area to shiny hunt it. Especially considering uh, there's a lot of normal types kicking around there. I mean, it's somewhere that LeChonk spawns, but not... Not a lot of other normal types do. Basically just spawns all around the bottom end of the map, huh? I wonder if around the Pokemon League works. How many other normal types are kicking around those spots? Apparently, according to some people, the optimal spot for shiny hunting LeChonk is on Poco Path in the grass patch on the right as soon as you enter the area. This is the only real general vicinity in which LeChonk is the only normal type that spawns. Therefore, it is the only thing that will pop up when you do the sandwich. Okay. Grass patch on the right as soon as you enter in. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense to me. Okay. That makes sense to me. Alright. Alright. First and foremost, they've taken some hits. Um, heal me. I mean, you can already kind of see it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
aside from Fletchling, who I'm pretty, which I'm pretty sure is flying normal type. Tomatoes, onions, green peppers, the hamburger, and two things of tofu. I should back back out and save the game. Or I mess things up a little. Do I think we'll get some new Pokemon in Legend ZA? I'm almost certain we will. Though... Like, I feel like I'm super certain we're going to actually get some uh, regional forums, maybe? But I think the majority of what's new might just be Mega Evolutions. Because I've been saying for a bit, it made sense that there were, like, new evolutions for certain Pokemon in, uh... Oh god, maybe. You never know. Yeah. It made sense that there were new evolutions for existing lines in, uh... In, uh, Legends Arceus. Because Sinnoh... Like, Gen 4 in Sinnoh had a bunch of new evolutions for things that didn't exist before. That was kind of the whole Sinnoh thing. So, Kalos' whole thing being Mega Evolutions, maybe the whole thing is literally just going to be that uh, bunch of Megas. That's all we're getting. Make this a sandwich. And yeah, maybe Mega Jinx will come back. Things of tofu. Let's go with sour today. Yeah, I've made the joke about Mega Mewtwo Z and Mega Charizard Z already. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna make that joke again. I have a whole video where I referenced it multiple times. Okay. 
that. Hurry, stick a toothpick in it before it collapses. Alrighty, let's get my normal boost. I paste the original. Yeah, look at all that normal power. Woo. At least this, uh, this shiny is a lot easier to spot. It's unlike trying to see the difference between, uh, blue and, uh, blue on metal at night, I'm looking for the bright pink one.
Hey, masked outbreaks have uh, swapped over. Seems my clock is like eight minutes ahead for some reason. Oh well. Oh yeah, this, this area is really isolating for the Lachance, right? It's not like the Tarantulas are, uh, are everywhere. I'm more surprised than spiders are popping up and not the fleshlings. Like, I thought those things were pure bug. Are they bug normal? Is that why so many of them are popping up on my normal sandwich? Wasting sandwich time, but I'm too too interested now. Oh, your bug. Weird. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought they were pure bug, which they are apparently. But the fact that there's so many of them showing up. For my normal type sandwich, I, I just have to assume that they're normal types, but they're not. They're pure bug. Begs the question, why are there so many of them spawning? I'm gonna wait it wait this sandwich out here for sure. But I swear to god, 
if I don't find one this time around, I am going to, uh... If I don't find one on this sandwich, I'm going to double check and look for a new spot, because I don't like this. The fact that a bug type keeps spawning in instead of Lechonk on a normal sa shiny sandwich, uh... They, I know they don't have boosted shiny rates because they're not normal types, but I swear to God, if I end up with a shiny tarantula here, instead of my shiny Lachon. the 15 rule works here as well. I can't imagine it doesn't, even if it is a starter area. Move the microphone slightly closer to me so people can actually hear what I'm saying.
Yeah. Fifteen rules seems to function here, so that's a thing. Not that it's terribly necessary when I'm not worried about whether or not I can't spot the damn thing, but you know... The bright pink pig feels like it would be easy to spot comparatively some of the other things I could be looking for.
bonus points for anybody watching. What legendary Pokemon's cry is that in the background? As it loads in every time I reset the picnic. I'm almost certain that cry I keep hearing in the background is some... Some legendary that is up on the cliffs above me that I haven't bothered to catch yet. One of the snacks worth legendaries, I am sure. There was a couple of them I read. I was an absolute tizzy to get shiny hunted uh, in advance. Not shiny hunted. Uh, hunted for zero speed IVs. And then I just kind of stopped caring once I got through like the first half of them. I was like, I, d I don't need the other ones.
right spot. spot's any good here. Gotta... Just don't like the fact that so many of the tarantulas are spawning, too. Shouldn't be popping up this much. Like, literally half of what is popping up. Even though I'm running a Terran... Even though I've got a normal sandwich going. Messing with my ratios. My numbers here. Very least, before I reset and get back my uh before I reset and get back my uh my uh Urba Mystico. Let's double check this cliff face. I swear to God. No? None of the snacks worth legendaries? Aside from Yeah, I think I'm gonna try up here. I think I got one more sandwich in me before I uh switch off for the night. I do have to get up like at least semi early and drive out to Ottawa, so
that's a tempting one. run to super uh super tempting to run the poplio outbreak instead right now Fletchling also spawns up here, so that might be the reason. give it a shot anyway. At least if the fletchlings are popping up, they actually have a chance of being a uh, shiny. Not that I need one, I've already got a shiny talent flame, but... Not have done that. Worked anyway.
Hello. I was just thinking I've fucked up because everything here is, uh... Everything is spawning up here despite the sandwich. Oh, hello there, Pink Pig. How are you? fine. That was a crit cap. <laughs> Love ball the chalk. Let's go. I say whenever I have a problem the sandwich doesn't work I just gotta move somewhere else and every time it just kind of works I'm not fond of how the uh, how I'm getting mostly hop hip up here but on a normal sandwich that's fine now that I've got one, I can experiment a little bit. There was, there was a little chunk on the cliff.
Hey, Kyle Kaysong. How are you doing tonight? Bird flu your shoulder on its own for the first time tonight, so you're playing Minecraft with it nib nibbling your ear? Nice. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. I'm just kind of running down time on the uh, shiny sandwich I've currently got going. Seeing if I can nail another uh, shiny lechonk or whatever else decides to spawn. I already got the one I was looking for within like the first two minutes of the sandwich. So now I'm just seeing if I get any, any extras out of it. I mean, we had really good luck with the steel sandwich earlier. I ended up with three separate shiny uh, pawn yards. Well, two shiny pawn yards and one shiny fish shark. Off of one sandwich. Oh, Lechonk was your first shiny this gen? Nice. Yeah, I never managed to get that lucky with it. Uh, I think my first... My first shiny in, the, in Scarlet and Violet? Full odds was, I believe, a capsicum. I was just kind of wandering around a mountaintop and, uh, oh, hey, why is that one's yellow? And then the random Magikarp that I barely spotted because it was submerged underwater, but I was just like, that, that coloring doesn't look quite right under there. I, I, I'm, I'm going to encounter that. It's always weird, too. Like, I've done a bunch of shiny hunting in this game since then. But it's always weird when I'm looking for one thing and I end up with a full-on shiny of something entirely different that isn't even the same type as the sandwich I currently have going. Like, I was looking for shiny Talonflame at one point, and I ended up with a shiny Raichu showing up. That... Always weird, but... Best laid plans, right? <laughs> Sometimes you're looking for one thing, and something else just kind of drops in on you.
Also, this starter area is messing with me when it comes to this. I've got the uh, level 3 encounter power normal and level 3 shiny power normal going right now. And yet, literally, even in a spot where Lechonk spawns, I'm getting tarantulas and uh, hopips just kind of popping up. Even when I, like, focus the area. Weird. It's the reason I'm not sitting still anymore, because there's no point. <laughs> My favorite shiny from this gen. Okay. Um, hmm. That one's a little tougher. Uh... This gen in particular is hard to pin down. There's a bunch of good ones. My favorite shiny overall is Trevenant. I like the birch tree uh, aesthetic for that shiny. But specifically out of this gen's Pokemon. Uh... Another Trevenant fan? Yeah, no, I'm a grass type fan in general, but Trevenant, I, I absolutely adore it in the first place. And just seeing that, that shiny get like the birch tree aesthetic with the red leaves is just so good. <laughs> I just absolutely love it in general. Your Harvest Trevenant for uh, SR Hunts is the shot. Any? Yeah. Yeah, I got a shiny Harvest Trevenant kicking around, too. Mainly because I used to uh, pull a lot of uh, random with people uh, online running uh, Heartmiss Keyberry Trevenant. Just make it an unkillable physical tank that sits there with Leech Seed and, leech and uh, Horn Leech and it just does not, will not die no matter what they do. Targets unable to kill themselves because in Gen 7 through 9, Trevenant got skill swap and harvest. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, I see what you mean.
Play your favorite shiny that you own is RTS because you failed the counter after 1500 resets. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. The, the feeling of resetting repeatedly for the same shiny and then messing it up is is a terrible thing <laughs> but yeah good good on you to keep at it do it again and uh, manage to get it the next time around Favorite shiny of this generation. I almost feel like I'm going to have to say. Yellow dirge, because I love the bubblegum pink uh, crocodile, but don't know if it's actually my favorite shiny. Some of the uh, Paradox Pokemon shinies are pretty good. Most of the futuristic ones all just being minus the paint job and just the chrome metal. That one's pretty, those ones are pretty fun. Little plain, fun. Oh, yeah. Iron Gallant. Iron Gal Valiant. That's the one. Thank you. Iron Valiant is a uh, pretty cool shiny, yeah. Just the flat, uh, flat metal color, nothing else added to it. That one's the nicest of them shiny, definitely. I do have my, uh, my zero speed IV trick room shiny Iron Hands, though that I have used in VGC before in, vi in a couple of different tournaments. Thank you to my uh, buddy Overkill who farmed that and just kind of handed it off to me when he realized it had zero speed. <laughs> He's like, hey, I feel like you can make use of this for a, shine for a trick room team. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, I can.
do very much appreciate Flamigo's uh, shiny. Just being accurate uh, color swap of what flamingos actually look like when they haven't eaten that much in the way of shrimp. But yeah, this is an actual color that flamingos get when they're when they've not been eating that much. Because the bright pink color comes from their diet. There's a bunch of shinies this gen that are just disappointing, uh, as per usual, though. Some unfortunate ones, too. I know, as much as I like, uh... As much as I like the Gra Meow Scarada, the shiny is just so bad. <laughs> it's barely different. Why is it barely different? And Armor Rouge and, uh... Armor Rouge and the other one as well, uh... That's name is escaping me right now. Sarah Ledge, that's the one. Armor Rouge and Sarah Ledge, whose shinies are literally just... Their, their eyes are a different color. some stupid, lazy, shiny design. Speaking of lazy, shiny designs, as per usual, I just kind of hate any of the, uh, any of those, like, puke green... Yeah, they got the Garchomp treatment. I know, right? Garchomp, having the Garchomp treatment is insane to me, considering its two prior evolutions have a have an actual decent shiny, and then it evolves into Garchomp, and it's just... One shade difference. The Dragonite treatment, too. Where you get Dragon, where you get Dratini and Dragonair actually have that nice pink color. And you get Dragonite and it's just green. So speaking of which, basically any, any shiny Pokemon that is that green shade that they use for, that puke green that they use for everything... Uh, those shinies just, no, they aggravate me. Hey, Derpy Boy, how you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. I'm just kind of wrapping up a sandwich right now. Already got my, uh, my Lechonk that I was after for, from this sandwich, so anything I get at this point is just kind of a bonus. But I'm going to run down the timer just in case. <laughs> You're doing well? That's good. Like Espeon's shiny? Hmm. Espeon's shiny is just that same green color I was just complaining about, what well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. 
feel like... I feel like it does sort of work for Espeon, but, like, most of the other Pokemon that have literally that exact same shade of green as their whole thing for the shiny, just not a fan. Espeon's is, like, a little different shade-wise. Fighting a bush. I feel like my favorite, like, shinies, for the most part, are the grass types whose shinies literally just fall aesthetic. Like, we took this grass type Pokemon and we colored it like it's just got, it's just the fall now, and that's the color scheme this thing's got going. Those are the nice ones for me. Favorite shiny Pokemon is Zoroa? I understand. <laughs> the blue and black is always a nice uh, is always a nice color palette. Same, re same reason I understand when people say Shiny Umbreon is their favorite Shiny. Like, the blue and black combination in for the Pokemon design? Usually pretty spot on. <laughs> I was saying to Kyle earlier, my favorite Shiny is Trevenant. Overall, I like the birch, uh, the birch tree aesthetic with the red leaves. Really nice. My sandwich ran out, so that's that. Let's just stick my LeChonk in the box. The rest of my shinies. Snapshot, because I'm going to post it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my, my, my shiny box from uh, this gen. I got a bunch. They're not all situated in these boxes. I've got a couple of them that I actually have been using for other things, so. <laughs> so I guess, technically, Basculegion's not from... Scarlet and Violet, I transferred it over from, uh, I transferred it over from Legends Arceus, but Umbreon and Sylveon have the best shinies of the evolutions. Full agree. Fully agreed. There's not even much competition there. I mean, Vaporeon, you can maybe make an argument for, but Umbreon and, uh, Umbreon and Sylveon, definitely, hands down. Best shinies of the evolutions.
And then there's just these guys that were just random full-ons walking around when I was playing the game. There's that green again. Oh yeah, Pommy line. Yeah, the shiny's nice. I caught this one like this. I was hunting a uh, slither wing for a friend of mine, and this guy just kind of popped up because I was on a fighting sandwich at the time. We got Capsicate over here, who was one of my first shinies in game. have multiple shiny iron hands. This is the one I keep in this box. I have a competitive ready one that I've been using as well. This e, I've got the bubblegum crocodile over here. I've got this shiny rock rough. Is this the no, this is the one with vital spirit. Okay. This is the own tempo shiny one. Alan Flame, which isn't a whole lot different. Your first shiny was a flittle in this game? Nice. I was just walking around on a, one of the cliffs exploring, and I just ran into the tiny little thing that I barely noticed, and I was just like, why does that look yellow? Oh, that's why it looks yellow. <laughs> a Shanks, and I've got a shiny Luxray that I caught. Joshua, shiny Munchlax, Hoot Hoot, that I got while I was hunting for Cramorant here. Forgot that I have a shiny Zoroark. I don't think I caught that. Pretty sure somebody else handed that to me. Thankfully, the Flittle was around its friends, and you noticed. Yeah. It's a lot easier to tell when uh, the fl when the shiny is next to another one that is regular colored, and you're just like that. Now I know. That's obvious. All right, overkill caught the Zoroark. Right. Okay. Feel like if it was me, I wouldn't have evolved it. Uh, it was your shiny Zoroark was your first targeted hunt next in Y. Nice. I think I actually did any targeted hunts in X and Y. Not that I didn't have shinies in X and Y, but I don't think I did any specific hunts in that game. I think I just, because I did a lot of, like, breeding for, for the competitive circuit, I just ended up with a bunch of random Masana Method shinies, Including a couple of Growliths, a Shuckle, and a uh, few other things I don't remember offhand. Hunted for Zoroa and Sword and Shield and managed to get a female. Nice. Remember, this Psyduck was a random full odds while I was on my way to a different hunt. We got Nakahito over here. We got Red Gyarados. Ah, uh, here's my Trevenant. Gengar. I got Shiny Charmander. My Shiny Meryl. I think uh, this is from, like, the last charity event. I caught a, uh... Shiny, I caught a shiny, uh, yep, sure is. Yeah, I caught, I have my, uh, shiny Lilligan here. I caught a shiny Petalil specifically in this game, transferred it over to, back to Legends Arceus, evolved it into Hisuian Lilligan, and then transferred it back here. So I've got a shiny Hisuian Lilligan and a friend ball. I. That was the event one. 
Did I not bring over my shiny Alpha Lucario from Legends? I probably just left it there. Shiny Eevee that I haven't decided what to do with yet. Shiny Teddy Ursa. Bunch of shiny Salandits that are all male, so they're useless to me. You use the Hisuian Lilligant in your Legends team? Nice. I, uh, I didn't use my shiny when I did it, but I've used, uh, Hisuian Lilligant a couple times in, uh, BGC teams. I brought one to, uh, the Toronto Regionals last year. Shiny Gumshoes over here. Shiny Stantler. Got a couple of shiny Sprouts I caught all off the same sandwich. And a couple of Ralts, uh, quite the same. So I do have two females and a male, so I could make a Gardevoir and a Glade out of that. And then my most recent thing, I bought, I caught all of these at the beginning of the stream. And Lechonk here as well. And, you know, you said Golduck best stamp user in the game. Yep. That's why this guy's here. Damn. Do I do the terror raids? Sure do. Competitive box. Here's my... I've got like two and a half boxes of bonds I use specifically for terror raids. Uh, the five star shiny Rayquaza. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Not entirely happy about it. I was hoping that would be a seven star raid, but here we are. Five star is fine, I guess. Makes it a lot easier to beat and catch. Oh, yeah, that's my suing little guy. Oh, right. This, this guy right here was one of my first targeted shiny hunts in Scarlet and Violet. I used him a bunch. Yeah, the shiny zero speed iron hands that I've made you, I've made wonderful use of. I should switch over and make use one of my shinies for that, but none of them are zero speed, so eh. Oh, gold up Oh yeah, I guess. I don't know that Golduck using skill swap in that situation is that good? I mean Giving them on... Oh, yeah, I guess, though, yeah, you transfer Damp over to them, and then you switch over to your False Swiper. And the Damp just stays on the field. Actually, a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> yeah, no, I did, I did hunt Shiny Slowpoke, didn't I? Uh, I owe that one to Elaine, I think. We got Kevin's shiny Finizen. I've got Overkill shiny Score Bunny. Overkill shiny Ponyard that I caught earlier in the stream. You have a funny story with Slowbro? This is one of my favorite event shinies.
As you were hunting one, you were just KOing them one after the other until your Pokemon refused to attack one, so you encountered it and it was shiny. Yeah, that that's how that works. Like, if... Like, I guess, yeah, if you don't know that that's how the game works. Uh, when you're in the overworld mode... And you're sending out your Pokemon to attack things... They actively refuse to fight anything that is shiny. I guess they added that so the Pokemon didn't accidentally walk around and end that thing's life before you realized it was there. That also makes it a really good way to test if it's one of those Pokemon that just isn't all that different and you just aren't sure. But yeah, Slowpoke's barely different. It's hard to tell. Shiny because Slowpoke Shiny is hard to tell. Of uh, you're also you're sad that the Synchro faints Shinies. Does it? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Right, the Synchro Machine where if you encounter a Shiny. While, like, far enough away from your regular self in using the Synchro Machine, it hurts so bad because there's no way to get it. Because if you return back to your regular body, it it's gone. It despawns. But if you're close enough while using the Synchro Machine, yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Lest you accidentally end it or despawn it. Like, my biggest horror story with, uh, this, with, uh, having something disappear on me is, uh, way back, like, probably about a year ago, I was doing some shiny hunting, and... One of my regular viewers at the time decided to stop in and see if he could jump in on the hunt as well and share the sandwich. And we were both shiny hunting the same Mon, but because of the way that, like, the multiplayer union circle spawns work, a certain number of them would spawn around me and a certain number would spawn around him. But he didn't notice that a shiny had spawned on his side, walked slightly too far to one side, and as I was rushing to get that shiny Pokemon, it just despawned, because he wasn't in the immediate vicinity anymore. And uh, that, that was the last time I did multiplayer Union Circle shiny hunts. <laughs> I, I sat there, and then, like, ever since that happened, I'm like, never again. <laughs> never again. I'll share the sandwich with you guys, but you, you're going somewhere else. <laughs> you are going somewhere the hell else. I am not dealing with that again. Anyways, I think I'm going to call the stream there for tonight. I do have to get up semi-early tomorrow for work. There we go. The mouse is actually working now. You had a shiny shelter despawn on me when catching another shiny shelter. Ouch. 
I've had multiple spawn on the same sandwich before, but I've never had, like, them spawn at the exact same time, thankfully. Anyways, let's see who in the event is raidable. Uh, I mean, right now, Flidia's, uh, Flidia's still streaming, so that's probably... The best place to go. Alrighty. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming out and hanging out with me while I did some shiny hunting. Uh, as said before, if you like if you type in exclamation charity into the into the chat uh it pulls up the uh charity uh the charity menu with all of my uh redeems and everything so if you uh by any means want to donate to a good cause i'm raising money for point of pride as part of trans awareness week so if anyone's interested in that you can find the link at exclamation mark charity but we're going to go raid off to Flidia right now, who is also doing some shiny hunting, I believe in, yep, Pokemon Legends Arceus currently. Thank you very much. I'll be back tomorrow night, either for some more shiny hunting, or if Overkill's feeling well because we missed out on Baldur's Gate tonight, we might end up doing that tomorrow. Anyways, thank you everybody for coming out. Derpy Boy, thank you for hanging out and chatting with me. As well as everybody else who's dropped in, Layman and uh, Kite. I'll, sorry. Anyways, thank you very much for coming out. I'll see you again next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.